Welcome. This is the Jenkins Platform Special Interest Group. It's the 15th of July, 2022. Topics that I've got on the agenda, open action items, uh, install plugins.sh, require Java 11, Java 17, and DevOps world. Bruno, are there any other topics you want to be sure we get on the agenda? Uh, no, I don't think so. I was thinking, of course, of ARM32 and ARM64, but I think that's Ooh, not yes. really a subject these days. We just two small PRs uh, last week. That's all. Actually, let's let's put it there because because I think it's a good thing while we're here. Let's do it. So open pull requests, open platform related pull requests, right? Mm. So we've got an ARM ARM32 slash V7 pull requests to Docker agents or requests to the Docker agents repository. Is that Docker right? agent and uh, Docker inbound agent also. Good. All right. Yeah. So let's use that. We can use this some time here today to review those. Good. All right. Thanks. Anything else that you want to be sure that we're we review? Uh, no. Thank you. Okay. So so we've had some more some more activity that's related to this first action item. The plugin installation manager docs had a pull request submitted to Jenkins.io that described many different use cases. And the many different use cases were were very helpful. We realized, hey, these use cases would be helpful. The plugin installation manager tool the maintenance team said, hey, the developers said, let's put this in the readme of the repository so it gets maintained. And now that install plugins.sh has been removed, that's all the more reason for that documentation to be updated. Unfortunately, it's not yet done yet. So we've got more work to do there. Uh, but progress, progress is coming. This is one that we get questions. We just got a question on community.jenkins.io related to it. Uh, more questions on community.jenkins.io related to that topic. So, so any question there on that action item? No, I don't. Thank you. Okay. So the next step then was in 2.358, 2.358, and from 2.346.2, uh, so the LTS, and, and it's mentioned in the, in the upgrade guide for 3.46.2, and the Kubernetes operator team found a way to, to undo it because they were apparently short-term dependent on this script. And, and that's fine. Oh. They get to choose how they do it. But for me, I, I very much prefer that now that it's been 18 months since it was deprecated, let's get it off the list. And that's all that I had on that topic. So next topic then was open platform related pull request. So let's take a look in the Docker agent repository. Docker here. And I'll just go to Docker dash agent. Okay, so this is the pull request that, oh no. Uh, it has been merged. Oh, it's, it's been not merged, but, merged yeah. but not released. Oh, good. Okay, so we just need a release of the agent. And we don't have a release of the agent that includes these other things either, like the upgrade of MinGit. Okay. So now, but you say the ARM32 images were not? That's odd. I thought we'd released more less than 10 days ago. Huh. Just oh, a minute. 10 days ago. Okay. My memory is wrong. Well, let's, uh, but let's, let's look. We should be able to see the image on Hub. I so think it may be there. Yeah. Jenkins slash Jenkins dash agent. Let's look, go look at the tags that are the, um, oh dear. Mm -hmm. Docker, maybe. No, where is my, no. okay. Jenkins <laughs> slash Jenkins. Okay, there's this one. How about agent? There we go. Oh, yes. Okay. So let's look at the tags here. So we, we might expect to see something that had ARM32 in it. No, oh, I no, think no, 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 no. Go ahead. 
it's yeah, it's for everybody, I think, now. So, yes, we have all the latest well, GDK 17, GDK 11, all uh, for Debian, in fact, uh, not of course for Alpine because we still have some problems with the latest version of Java. But yes, Debian uh, 11, 17, and latest they are ARM now spotting, uh, spotting the ARM V7 tag. Just and, well, and, and I wanted to double check to see if there are. So if I look, yes. So for instance, latest dash JDK 11 has ARM v7. Ugh. It thinks I'm clicking when I want to highlight. And then even JDK, even JDK 17 preview. So you can run Java 17 on a 32-bit ARM now. Yes. Good. All right. And now we, we do need to, this is a reminder, I've got an action item here. Um, let's put it up here, I guess, under action items. Uh, remove the preview label mm -hmm. from JDK 17 images, uh, agent images. We've already removed it, or maybe remove the preview, preview suffix. Mm -hmm. Because it's it's already removed from the controller images, but not from the not from the agent images. Okay. Hello, Kevin. Hey, Kevin. Okay, so this is great. We've got Intel 64, 32-bit ARM, 64-bit ARM, and System 390 all available as images that we're providing. Yes, I've tried it with other architectures, but that didn't work. So I forget, you know, PPC and so on, that didn't not work for various reasons linked to the Java executable. Yeah, well, and, and we've not had, right now, we've not been willing to do a PPC, uh, PPC image because there's a bug in QEMU that prevents oh. us from publishing from the same location. We actually create the System 390 image on an Intel architecture using QEMU. Okay, good. So this is, this one looks good. Now, you said that there was also a pull request to the inbound agent. I had, we didn't check that one. Shall we look at Docker inbound agent to be sure that's yes, been merged? I think team merged it yesterday. Ah, good, okay. Yeah, so yesterday. yesterday. Yeah. You're right. Okay. Now and I have to I have to be reminded of these how they how they behave. So this one, oh, and here we go. We all have, yeah, we have we a have tag. Yeah. So we may let's just double check. So this should be under inbound agent. We look inbound agent, we should see that the tags now include ARM 32-bit. There it is, yeah. ARM v7 is there. Good, congratulations, Bruno. Yes, I'm pretty happy, thank you, Mark. All right, so ARM, oh, so R, and that was, I better get the exact text, it's ARM slash v7, okay. ARM v7 architecture is now available. So I can run a Docker-based agent on my tiny little Raspberry Pis. <laughs> That's cool. Yes, nice. you can. Uh, I've been running some for quite a while, but it was a custom one I built by myself. But now I can just get rid of that and use a standard one. That's cool. That that is that's that's very impressive. Thank you. Thanks very much. You're welcome. All right. Anything else on platform related pull requests? I don't have anything else. Okay, next topic. Require Java 11. So 2.359 released. It also requires Java 11 just as 2.358 did. And the, the next LTS baseline uh, will require Java 11. Uh, or and and support Java 17.
so the that the baseline selection is coming in the next i think it's the next two to four weeks Let's see the calendar the uh, the the epic on on jenkins.io is looking better and better all the time mm -hmm. so thanks special thanks to basil crow and to to others who are working to upgrade dependencies to do all sorts of improvements that are helping us do a better job as we move forward. Any questions on Java 11? I don't care. No. Okay, next topic then. Java 17 support is looking good. Supported since, since 2.357 and 2.346.1. Uh, and we're now in the state of planning to upgrade one or more CI instances to JDK 17. Uh, examples week, weekly.ci.jenkins.io and possibly infra.ci.jenkins.io. Weekly is visible publicly, infra is but is not used for heavyweight activities. Uh, infra is not visible publicly, but is used for heavyweight activities. So we think those are two good choices and the infra teams planning their upgrade. Any questions there? Uh, no, I don't. Thank you. All right, next topic then was DevOps world. So we've got, this is September 26 through 29 in Orlando. And we're looking forward to a contributor summit on Tuesday, the 27th. Uh, we'll, I'm sure we will have platform topics there and look forward to having those good conversations. Then as a reminder to others, Bruno and I and John Mark are going to be doing a contributing to open source workshop on Wednesday. Uh, sp come spend two hours with us and learn how to submit your, submit real improvements to Jenkins plugins. We'll take you through live experiences. Any other topics we should bring up today? I don't have any. Uh, I don't have any myself right now. All right, let's call our session done then. Thanks, Bruno. Thanks, Kevin. Recording Thanks, should be available in 24 hours or so.